But Esau ran to meet him and embraced him and fell on his neck and kissed him and they wept. Genesis 33, 4. It is very difficult to be reconciled with God and his will for our lives if we are not willing to reconcile to each other. Today, I want us to look at one time when reconciliation opened the door for a peaceful life. The back end of this story of these two brothers is that over 20 years prior, Jacob had gained their father's blessing through trickery, concocting a plan with their mother to trick their father, Isaac. When Esau found out that Jacob stole the blessing, he threatened to kill him. Jacob ran away. Can you imagine the heartbreak to both mother and father and sons? Rebecca never saw her favorite son, Jacob, again. For over 20 years, he stayed away. Now here we are, 20 years later, and Jacob is returning from Haran to Canaan, and he heard that Esau had set out to find him. Of course, he was afraid and very worried. But to his surprise, instead of an angry Esau, he was met by a brother who was happy to see him. The Bible says that upon seeing Jacob, Esau ran to meet him and embraced him, and they wept. Jacob was so overjoyed and overcome by the love of his brother that he told him that to see him was like seeing the face of God. You can read the whole story for yourself in Genesis chapter 33. There are many lessons for us to learn from this sad family story. A mother learned the hard way what having favorites and encouraging wrongdoing in a child can do. Esau learned what not guarding and valuing a blessing can do. And Jacob was never able to see his mother alive again. But the lesson I want us to focus on today is the joy of reconciliation and how it impacts both the giver and the receiver. We must be faithful and reconcile to God and to each other to experience the full expression of Christianity.